Hi, my name is Chris and it's Palm Sunday and today we're gonna to talk about resting in the promise. You see, there's many things that are promised to us in life, but the promise we're talking about today is found all the way in Old Testament scriptures of the Bible where we read about the promised Messiah. When reading these Old Testament scriptures, we see lots of prophecy that eventually comes to pass when we jump to the New Testament in the book of Matthew, where we see Jesus being born. He is the fulfillment of that promise. He's the Messiah. So fast forward the story. Jesus has grown now. He started his ministry and he's changing the landscape of religion. And he's revealing to the public that he is the promised Messiah sent by God to unite people all over the world, regardless of their race, culture, or religion. And he's showing them a better way to navigate life that's filled with hope. So what does that mean for us today? It means that this promise of hope is ours. All we have to do is invite Jesus into that complex mosaic that makes us uniquely who we are. It's hard for me to be silent about the goodness of God because I rest in the promise that through Christ I can overcome the hurdles of life and I can live with hope and assurance. The Savior who came into the world thousands of years ago is the same Savior who offers that promise of eternal life and hope and all you have to do is invite him in.